relation of the kidney the relation of the anterior surface of kidney this is right kidney this is left kidney the apical portion is related with suprarenal gland then hepatic area then hepatic flexor of colon small intestine and duodenum hepatic area and area for small intestine are covered by peritoneum left kidney this area is related with suprarenal gland area for stomach spleen pancreas small intestine and descending colon stomach spleen and small intestine this area is covered by peritoneum this is the posterior surface of the kidney this is left kidney this is right kidney you know left kidney is slightly higher than the right kidney right kidney is below due to the large lobe right lobe of the liver the upper part of the both kidney is related with the diaphragm and also so two ligaments of the diaphragm medial arcuate ligament and lateral arcuate ligament the lower part is related with two posterior abdominal wall muscle and one anterior abdominal wall muscle the posterior abdominal wall muscles from medial to lateral psoas major quadratus lumborum and laterally one of the muscle of the anterior abdominal wall transversus abdominis some vessels and nerve also related here the subcostal vessels has nerve iliohypogastric nerve and iliouingulan nerve this is the diaphragm this is medial arcuate ligament lateral arcuate ligament and this is the muscle of the posterior abdominal wall psoas major minor and quadratus lumborum and this is the muscle of the anterior abdominal wall transversus abdominis so here the posterior surface of the kidney it attaches following this muscle so this is all about relation of the kidneys thank you for watching